Maz, how's the week been for the pitch? Um, been okay, to be fair. Um, we covered it on Monday, uh, put the frost covers on, obviously to protect it, and then obviously the snow came, sharpish. Um, so that, again, protects the pitch, believe it or not, so it keeps, it keeps it insulated. Um, so we've just left it all week, keep off, keep off, keep off, um, so we're not forming ice on there. So then today we've asked for fans to come in and uh, general public to come and give us an hand to start clearing it, ready for the game tomorrow. What time did it start, the clearing of the snow, and how long do you expect it to take? We started at half eight this morning, um, and it, I think it's going to be all day. It's going to be a five, six o'clocker. Uh, we're going to leave the covers on, obviously, because it's minus one again tonight. And then start again tomorrow, start pulling the covers off with the slush, and obviously there'll be a bit of ice on there now. Now we're clearing the snow. So um, that, that's a different problem tomorrow morning. And I'm sure you're most enthused by uh, so many people, as we can see behind us, uh, hearing, heeding your battle cry to come and help. Yes, it's great. It's every time we're out failed, to be fair. And uh, believe it or not, it's normally the older generation. We've got some lads out there in the 70s, and they're doing as much work as everybody else, to be fair to them. Um, and there's normally the same few what come every time we out fail, every time you ask for something. So, yeah, it's, it's great from the community to come and help the local team. And obviously, they want to watch football as well. So, stuck in the house with the wives, I think they sooner, <laughs> they sooner come in and watch Nigel Clough and the lads running about. So, what's the forecast looking like? Well, it's, uh, there's a bit of sleet early hours, and then we've got every rain all day, believe it or not. Um, Storm Bear, I believe, that's on its way. So then tomorrow we've got to contend with obviously water. That's why one of the reasons we're taking the snow off now is so we don't add to the water. Obviously, with that melting on top, it's it's going to be hard enough as it is. So yeah, that's the the one after the covers come off in the morning. Then the next one is to hopefully keep the rain off and put some holes in there, and hopefully it drains as, as good as it has been. So when you arrive early, no doubt tomorrow morning, what are your first priorities? Uh, get as many people here again as possible. That's the first one. Um, and then just get the covers off. Let's open the pitch, see what's what. If we can put a, mow a mower over it, we will. If we can't, then we can't. They're just going to have to play on it as it is. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely and flat. And we, di we did the pitch on Monday before we covered it as well. We doubled it. So tomorrow's just a, a case of white lines. If we can't get on with mowers and goals up and away we go. So if people watching this do want to come down and help tomorrow, what should they do? Turn up 8.30, 9 o'clock-ish would be great just to pull the covers back. Hopefully it's just an hour's work tomorrow. Uh, we're going to try and get the covers away, obviously, if we can, just to get them out of sight, just because they, they don't look great where they, where they are. But sometimes it, it can't be helped if there's not enough bodies. We have to leave them laid about. But it would be nice to get them away. Because next week, obviously, it's going to be about 412 degrees because we've got no game, so we won't need them. And I'm probably duty-bound to ask you, are you confident it will go ahead tomorrow against Bristol Rovers? Yeah, very confident. Yeah, I've got no worries at the minute. Obviously, I don't know what's going to fall. Let's see how heavy this rain comes. But the rain we had, I don't know, say a month ago, whatever it was, it was absolutely bucketing it, sheeting it down. And I could have gone on with a mower. because so we had the, um, the extra gravel bands put in in the summer, every metre, full length of the pitch, um, about 10 inch deep. Uh, with this then four inch sand on top so they're, they're um, matching up to the plastic drains and obviously taking it away a lot quicker than it did the year before which obviously the winter was crazy the year before as well. How much of an improvement then has been made on the drainage because that has been a challenge hasn't it here? Yeah massive challenge that's been one of the main problems we, we're moaning a fair bit about the light under the the stand but I think the main issue is it rotting it's just sat in water and just rotting it rotting the roots away so we've had them put in um, like I say, every metre. So hopefully that we had them in a few years back as well, um, but it didn't go to plan as I'd liked it and everything. But at least they're still in there. So it's like there is extra if you get what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps with that. We've got the light rigs to take us through winter. And don't get me wrong, we're, they're not massive, but they do under the area. But yeah, the touch wood, the pitch has been absolutely fantastic. Compliments from the away team, every one of them, to be fair to them, said how good the pitch is, so that's always nice.